Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. Again, this is a homemade problem, but I think anyone can come up with a problem like this. You can replace x with certain values and come up with a different problem. But anyways, so we're going to evaluate this expression, but before we start evaluating it, I wanted to show you the graph of this as a function, because the graph is going to give you some ideas. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's interesting, right? Well, I just graphed it, and obviously it's not a surprise, right? But you can pretend that you're surprised. Uh, it's a horizontal line. How come we have a really complicated looking function with radicals, and it happens to be something that looks like a horizontal line? We, we may not necessarily know it is a perfectly horizontal line, but at least it looks like one. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive more into this, and I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to set, I'm going to set the numerator equal to something. So suppose square root of x plus square root of x plus square root of x minus square root of x, a lot of square roots. Let, uh, let that equal s. And square both sides here, obviously. That should be like an obvious step. If you square both sides, you get x plus root x plus x minus root x. And then from the 2ab, you get 2 times the square root of x squared minus x using difference of two squares. And that equals s squared. Square root of x cancels out. And we end up with some expression for s squared. Let's go ahead and evaluate that. It is going to be x plus x, which is 2x plus 2 times the square root of x squared minus x. Now remember, our expression has s in the numerator, so I'm not really interested in s squared, but I would like to find what s is. So let's go ahead and square root both sides. But when you square root both sides, notice that the expression on the right-hand side is positive if x is, you know, well-defined. But we didn't talk about the domain, but maybe when we write the expression, we can talk about it. Anyway, so from here we get the square root of 2x plus 2 times the square root of x squared minus x. That's going to be my numerator. And now if I replace the numerator, remember our original expression was square root of x plus square root of x, plus the square root of x minus square root of x, all over square root of x plus the square root of x squared minus x. Okay, now I'm going to replace the numerator with this, and then simplify this expression. Now notice that the numerator and denominator are now very similar. If you notice that, it'll be very easier. I'm going to t take out a square root of 2 from here, and then I'm going to be getting x plus the square root of x squared minus x, and all of that is divided by pretty much the same thing. And from here, these two expressions cancel out, obviously, uh, provided that they're not zero, and we end up with square root of 2 as our answer. That's why our expression was a horizontal line when graphed, because we get a constant function from here, or a constant value. All right, great. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. And I'm going to actually also show you a third method, which is not like these, but I think it's kind of fun. So suppose we have the whole expression, like let's set it equal to something. Instead of just the numerator, I want to work with the whole thing. And why not set it equal to something? How about setting this equal to a and then squaring both sides? Awesome. If you square both sides here, we get the numerator squared, but you already know that. And the denominator when squared is just going to lose the outer square root. And that's going to be the answer. So let's go ahead and simplify this one more time. The numerator is going to give us 2x plus 2 times the square root of x squared minus x, and that is divided by that. And notice that here we have a squared, and the numerator uh, can be factored. And after factoring, we notice that you can simplify this, and we end up with a squared equals 2. You got to notice that a is a positive quantity because everything is positive. Therefore, from here, a is what we're trying to evaluate is equal to square root of 2. Great. So let's go ahead and talk about the third method real quick. Our third method is quick and fun. Now, we're going to suppose x equals 1. Now, before that, maybe we should talk about the domain of this function. Now, notice that x needs to be greater than 0. But not only that, 
Not only that, we also need that x minus square root of x greater than zero, so therefore, x greater or equal to one is going to work. So if we set x equals one here in our expression, we're gonna get the following, square root of one plus one, which is square root of two, and this is going to become zero, and then we're gonna divide it by square root of one, and the answer is gonna be square root of two as before. So it's kind of like a quick method, especially if it's a multiple choice problem and you know that the answer is a constant. Obviously, it's not like a proof or rigorous solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget, to, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.